do a lot of unique, intricate um, work. Like some of the stuff, like what I was looking at today, that door casing, for instance. Yeah. Um, the detail in that is just, it's, yeah. uh, just incredible. And we should go over and do do some. Yeah. Of course, the some pictures, and, of, pictures and video won't yeah. do justice. You got to touch and you got to look at it and say, "Oh my God!" Um, but it's it's incredible. Um, the work, the work that you, that you do, the detail. It's just yeah. amazing. It'll be fun to share um, some of that, you know, with people. There might be somebody out there that's interested in uh, doing some of that work. And mm. uh, well, some people keep these uh, techniques secret. You know, they want to be the only uh-huh. one doing it. But I'm like, hey, if somebody's interested in uh, any of it. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Well, you had mentioned that you'd like to start um, making, you know, recording yourself videos of you're doing the work and we can. Edit, edit it and put it on, yeah, on yeah. the YouTube channel. Yeah. So you 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 wanted to start doing that. Yeah, I think that we. I like I say, I like sharing. There's my rock. <laughs> so these are going to go. What this is going to be is a, um, a little handheld mallet for carving. Um, something that's not big, and, you know, the handle and all that. So, yeah, I'm going to punch the holes around here and stitch it together tight so it stretches down over it. And um, that'll be really cool. And now that this is cut, you take and stretch it. A little bit more. It wasn't completely 100% soaked, so by stretching this, it kind of pulls the fibers of the skin apart, and I'll put it back in some warm water, and then it will get really good and soaked. It should dry up nice and tight. As you can see, you can get quite a lot out of a small area if you cut it careful. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> for now. Ta ta for now. Got a little hole in the end. It spits out the extra out that little hole there. So I'm going to start on end and punch. Some slick little holes around the edge. Um, I made a needle out of a bent piece of wire, sharpened the ends a little bit so they go through the hole better, and then you put a little hole in the end of the rawhide. Hopefully that holds. If it doesn't, we'll do it again.
to uh, pretty much sew most of this right up before I put the rock in there. Kind of have to guess it. stitch it up kind of loose and then once the rocks in there go back and tighten it up you can use the rock the way it is to drive a chisel but the hard rock will eventually mush from the end of the chisel handle and start to break it down and also having a rock laying around your workbench that is the last thing that your cutting edge wants to see so this actually protects both the handle and the blade of the chisels that I'm using with it. Alright so we've got it this far around and I better put the rock in or I won't be able to. I've sewed it up loose this far and after I get it all laced up I'm going to go back around and tighten all those threads up, stitches. So we got it, the rock is stuck in there now and I'm going to, I've got this neat little fid, it's an antique, I love antique sewing stuff. This is probably whalebone but um, I'm going to use that to get under the threads the stitches, pull them up, right back around the way we came. You can see it's going together real nice and tight. There it is, all stitched on, nice and tight, and um, I'm gonna let it dry, and it'll tighten up some more, and harden, and then um, be ready for service. Can't wait to try it.